Let's look at this question. In how many ways can 12 similar balls be divided into 3 identical groups with each group containing at least 1 and at most 6 balls? Okay, let's start. Uh, there is a PLC based way of doing this and there is simple counting. Here it would be most advisable to go down the route of simple counting because you have identical groups, you have similar balls. But if you want to go down the route of PLC also, that will be much more cumbersome. So what I'll do is I'll do the PNC root and then do the simple counting so that you are able to see the difference between the two. So, so A plus B plus C is equal to 12. Every group is supposed to get at least 1. Okay, Give at least 1 to everyone. So this will turn to 9. And now how many is? Uh, 9 letters, 2 partitions. So 11 C to forget. 55 is equal to out of these 55 ways, I would have to remove those ways where somebody is getting more than 6. So, let's choose one of the three ways that is getting more than 6. Give 6 to that. And 1 and 1 together. So, 8 got. So, you have to remove 4. 3C1 into 4C. So, 4C2, 6C2. So, 3 into 15. You get 45 unacceptable cases. So anyway, straight away you reached 55 possible cases. You have reached 55 possible cases. Okay. Sorry, 55 possible cases minus 45 possible cases. Now you have reached 10 cases. Now you have reached 10 cases. Remember, in these 10 cases, you also have the conclusion of you also have the conclusion of uh, cases where A and B could be identical or a and C could be identical. So, and say A, B is 2 and 2, 1 and 1. So, you have to remove those counts as well. So, let us go ahead and do that. Can I have 1, 1? 10 is not possible, so this is not happening. Can I have 2, 2, 8? Not possible, not counting. 3, 3, 6. This would have been counted three times, but it is supposed to be counted only once. Then four, four, four. It would have been counted once. It should be counted only once. That is fine. Not a problem. So you need to subtract two from this case. Can I have five, five, two, five, five, two? Okay, it would have been counted three times. But it should be counted only once. So total number of cases will come down by two. So now from whatever 10 cases you are left with, you have to subtract minus 2 minus 2. So you reach 6 cases in total. And therefore B will be your answer. Now this is extremely long term. Instead, if you had gone down the route of simple counting, your work would have been comparatively easier. Just see you had A, A, B, C. They had to add up to 12 and you have to ensure none of these goes uh, beyond the 6 and everybody gets 1. So I'll start off with 1 and I'll give the highest possible number to the third variable and B will be the compensating one. 5, 6. My limit here or my counting checkpoint here is whenever the variable on the left becomes higher than variable on the right, that is an unacceptable case. So 1, 5, 6 works. But you cannot go any more than that. B cannot be greater than C anymore. So go to A equal to 2. Okay. So at C6, maybe 4, which is 2. At 2, 5, 5. Yes, this is acceptable. Wonderful. But now the next case, B will be greater than C. So B cannot be greater than C. Time to change A. 3, 6, 3. Works. 3, 5, 4 works but b will be greater than c next step so cannot change next case 4 4 6 and then you would have a value that is 2 here but 2 4 6 has already been counted so this is unacceptable you cannot have this let me check with 5 5 3 i cannot have this because 3 4 5 has already been counted you cannot have this so the only possible case is 4 and 4 this is, these are the six possible cases you can reach your answer. Six this way as well. And this is far more convenient than the PNC based way. 